Thor Love and Thunder is the most controversial movie in MCU Phase 4. The sad part is a lot of Marvel fans hate this movie, but not me. Anyway, I have some suggestions that could make this movie perfect or at least likable to all Marvel fans. Number 1. This should have been the main Thor suit. The most unforgivable thing in this movie is this suit not getting any major screen time. In my opinion, this is the best Phase 4 suit. Taika Waititi badly gave this suit 2 minutes of screen time. We will most likely won't see this suit again in the MCU. Number 2. Give a major role to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Before watching Thor 4, I was expecting to see at least 30 minutes of fun adventures involving Thor and the Guardians. But it was cut short by Korg narrating their entire scenes in 3 minutes. Imagine the awesomeness if we had seen Thor and the Guardians having an epic showdown against Korg in the final battle. Taika Waititi missed an endgame level action opportunity. The Guardians should have had an important role in the movie similar to Tony Stark in Civil War. Number 3. Increase Gore's Screen Time Many fans think Gore got very less screen time, but Gore got three full fight scenes, an epic intro, a puppet sequence and a meeting with Eternity with gorgeous cinematography. This kind of screen time is actually higher than most MCU villains. But what went wrong? We didn't see Gar, the God Butcher, butchering anything. Director Taika Waititi could have avoided most criticisms if he actually showed us Gar fighting and butchering multiple gods in an extended battle sequence. Number 4. Silence the Damn Goats The two goats were actually funny when they first screamed. But it got really annoying when they did the screaming for the third time and again and again. Taika Waititi should have just put them in silence mode throughout the rest of the film. Number 5. Fix the floating head CGI. The Heimdall Sun CGI is the worst CGI in MCU history. I just don't get how come they got it so wrong. Movies like Avengers Endgame and Shang-Chi showed us how hologram CGI should look like. Even the Star Wars movies 50 years ago did a better hologram. Number 6. Remove Sif from the movie. Lady Sif served basically zero purpose in the movie other than being a parody of herself. She should have been left out of the movie or at least she should have been serious in her scenes. Also, I found it weird that we couldn't see Sif in the rest of the movie. It would have been awesome to see her get a prosthetic arm and join Thor while he went to hunt Gaur. And that's it. What would you do to make Thor Love and Thunder better? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.